Mr. Cahill's amazing style and bow ties. Um, I will probably miss the teachers most about the school because I had some really nice teachers. Alright, what I miss most about uh, DHS would be the seniors I grew up with. Um, you guys know who you are, Fat Five, Angelo, Mike, Sonny, all you guys, Brandon, love you guys. So, I'm gonna miss all my friends. I think I'm gonna miss this cl our class the most too, because um, I think we've all grown really close no matter what. All been really good friends, even if some of us don't like each other. We're still good friends. <laughs> What I miss most about high school is definitely playing high school soccer with my girls. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I think I miss the most about high school is the people and the memories and, you know, once you go off to college, it's a really scene and we're not in this castle anymore. You're on to bigger and better things and it, I think I'm just going to Um, I think I'm missing the most my all my friends from high school and all the exciting sports. What I'll miss most about high school, I think, is going to just be seeing the people that I actually enjoy seeing because a lot of them are leaving for college. <laughs> the teachers I will miss most at DHS here have to be um, Mr. Padilla and Mr. Cahill because not only are the classes interesting, but the way they teach them makes it interesting. The people that I'll miss most teacher-wise from DHS is probably Mrs. Driver and Mr. Cahill. Um, Student-wise, I will probably miss Jada and Shannon Lee because they're like my sisters to me and I wish them the best of luck in their future. What I will miss about DHS? Um, can't exactly narrow it down to one different thing, one simple thing because um, Everything about it is just amazing. Uh, from the people that you meet in certain classes to just hanging out with people at different sporting events. Like, each little thing has its own great memory, and that's the best thing that I could think of. Hey guys, <clears throat> these are my four tips for success. Number one, work hard all the time. This is really important, you need a work ethic. If you have a strong work ethic, you'll be successful. Number two, if you don't succeed, don't blame other people. You're in control now. Too many people blame other people. They wanna blame their parents, they wanna blame everybody else. You're in control. Number three, set realistic goals, okay? When you were a little kid, your mom told you, you can grow up and be whatever you want. That's not true. You need to set realistic goals, ones that, you, that are attainable. I'm looking at you guys right now. Some of you guys are not college material. You're not college material. Those two in the back, you're not college material. You're definitely not college material. But here's the thing, that's okay. You can still be successful. Remember number one, you need to work hard. Pick something you're interested in, something you're good at, and you can be successful. Learn a trade. Join the military. There's all kinds of opportunity in the military too. You don't have to go to college to be successful. And then finally, number four, be nice. Treat people with respect. You're gonna need something from somebody. That road to success is bumpy. You're gonna need some second chances and some breaks. And those people will be there for you. So that's all I've got. Congratulations and good luck. All right, a couple things I would tell seniors is one thing, don't stress about life, just enjoy. Just enjoy life. Um, don't be afraid to try new things. And most importantly, it's really okay to change majors. If you think in high school, this is exactly what I wanna do, and then later on when you're in college, you go, oh, no, it's okay to change majors. It's really not that big of a deal to change majors. It's not a life. Oh my gosh, nobody else does this. Everybody changes their mind, because people are just evolving, and it's okay. That's about it. Stay in school. Don't be tired of your absent. Do your work. I say it and comes you'll go far. The office, please. My suggestion or advice for seniors as they move on is to make sure that you work as hard as you can at whatever you do. So whatever you choose to do with with your life, just go at it with 100 percent of whatever you have and do your best um, in all aspects of whatever you choose to do. 
Wow, you guys, I can't believe that you're really graduating. It's been quite the road from third grade when I met most of you. Um, congratulations. Always remember the good times from DHS, but look forward to the future. Make goals, work hard to achieve them, but don't be afraid of failure. For those who are afraid to fail, won't succeed, as paraphrased by Dan Gable. Okay, class of 2014, number one, go to class. Number two, read your assignments. And number three, come back to see us when you actually accomplish something. Hey seniors, good luck in all that you do after Dixon High School. My advice to you would be, um, don't put your nose in the book in college. Get to know your friends and your classmates and make those connections. All right, seniors, class of 2014, congratulations, you did a great job. Uh, I guess the advice I'd give you is to uh, pursue your dreams. Unless, of course, they're nightmares, in which case maybe you should avoid pursuing them. So only pursue the happy dreams. But in all seriousness, um, imagine what it would be like if you actually tried your best at everything you do. So that'd be my advice, is give it 100% wherever you end up. And, uh, you know, we like it and everything, but we're glad to see you gone. Get out of here. See you later. Hi, seniors. Congratulations on your graduation. Your four years went by pretty fast, I bet. Um, good luck in your future. Make sure you work hard, shoot for your dreams, and uh, go for it. Take care. Good luck, seniors. Have fun out there. There's a big, big world outside of Dixon, Illinois, so see it and enjoy it. I wish you all the best of luck. And more than anything, I want you to find a job that you love and find time to have fun, as well as, of course, do your job. Um, I will miss you very much. Please come back to see me. And felicidades y buena suerte. My advice to the senior class is, uh, above all, two things. Have fun and take life seriously. Number one, um, life is magic and wonderful and there's so many incredible perspectives out there and things that uh, maybe you don't know about right now that you will discover in exploring your world and they're going to be fun and, and you need to enjoy life as much as possible. But on the other side of the coin, take um, your life and your work and your career and your goals seriously. Work hard. Give it the extra effort um, because it's going to pay off in the end and you are going to come to a place where you are happy and, and thrilled to be and still growing. Congratulations, class of 2014. Uh, best wishes to you in the future and all that you do. If I were to give you one piece of advice, it would be put your heart and soul in everything you do, both personally and professionally, and you have a very happy life. So good luck and do good things. So my advice to the seniors of 2014 would be to embrace life. Take an opportunity when you have the chance, travel whenever you can, explore the world, see new cultures, meet as many people as you can, and taste food, new foods, go to new places, experience new careers. Um, take advantage of all that life has to offer, and, and above all, be happy. Hi seniors, first of all I'd just like to say congratulations. Uh, it's been quite a journey for all of you, and you put in a lot of hard work. to say a few words of advice, and uh, here we go. <clears throat> Number one, comport yourself with integrity at all times, especially when no one is looking. Serve others whenever you can. Life is most fulfilling when you are not just living for yourself. Set goals for yourself, make a plan, and follow through. Finally, find a way to make a living doing something you would normally do for free anyway. Seniors, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to share with you in these four years that you've had at Dixon High School. I've truly been uh, honored to be a part of it. Just a little advice for you. Uh, my eighth grade social studies teacher told me this a long time ago. He said the only regrets that he had in life were the things that he didn't try and the challenges that he didn't go for. So I hope we've given you the confidence and the skills to not settle for something and to actually do the things that you want to do. And good luck in your future, and I hope 
You go after everything you can. Have a great day.